So Josh, COA, curator of archaeology. Curator of archaeology, that's right. Right. Pyramids, humans or aliens? Humans. Okay. Come on. <laughs> sort of losing me to be honest, Josh. I mean, you'd think the aliens would be a bit more creative. How old is this pottery? This pottery, we're probably looking at about 5,000 years old. Whoa. So, getting out there. <laughs> That is amazing to yeah. get that sort of pottery 5,000 years ago when I can't even make a, a cup. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, things that the Egyptians developed, such as they really developed things like ink and paper, and that kind of, or papyrus, which was a precursor to paper. Um, some of our words, like the name Susan, means lotus. Flower. Really? So, yeah, just lots of little things that we've got from them. This is quite a cool piece here. This is one of the hieroglyphic representations of Khufu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the name of Pharaoh that organized the building of the pyramids, the Great wow. Pyramid. So that, that one there, effectively. Right. The sort of Wayne Brown of Egypt. <laughs> yeah. So this is a relief of a temple wall. It's a cast. Right. And uh, we've got a projector up there putting the colors on it of how it would have been in the past. Uh, all pigments, you get a real sense of how colorful the ancient world was. And then we've got a, a cat here who looks a bit shocked to be <laughs> mummified, but yeah. Would the, the cat have religious significance? The cat was, um, it was a very sacred animal for the ancient Egyptians. Do you think the Egyptian worship of cats is why cats are so arrogant now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a replica of a tomb here which people can sit inside. Um, oh. So this is one that was found in Egypt. What food can you provide me in the afterlife? Then? Olives. Olives? Some, yeah, olives. You can have some uh, grain, a lot of grain. Beer. Beer was big. Oh. Yeah, you have a lot of beer. <laughs> beer and olives. Yeah. I'll take it. So there's a real misconception that Egypt was obsessed with death. Right. You know, you see the pharaohs, the pyramids, the tombs. Sure. They're really obsessed with life. They wanted life to continue after death, and that's what those tombs are towards. Now, I'll see you later then. All right. Cheers, Josh. Sure. See ya. Here we go. It's another gourd or water carrier. How old will this be? About six months. Six months. How much? 90 bucks. Tea towels as well. Tea towels, yeah. Books, bookmarks. Soft toys. Soft toys. It's great. You can even get a t-shirt. Quite advanced, weren't they? Very cool. Uh, the exhibit opens at Auckland Museum this Thursday. Enjoy that. I will not be going. Uh, as a child, I saw a mummy, or a mummified person, I believe they like to be called now. Mm. Um, <laughs> and my brother told me I looked at it too long and it was going to follow me, <laughs> and um, I slept for the next three months wondering when the mummy was going to smash through my bedroom window. <laughs> <laughs> also, you Just don't look at it too long or go to the museum with my brother. <laughs> also, you grew up in Morrinsville. There's way more scary things in Morrinsville than a mummy. Yeah. Uh -huh.